When I saw for first time a coral reef, a magic moment, because I can see the other world. In this moment, I say for myself, I want to be a diver. I want to, to be here. It's amazing to like fully immerse yourself into a different world. You can't do anything but breathe and relax and just observe and look at what's around you. There's a famous uh, oceanographer by the name of Sylvia Earle, and she describes the reef as a busy metropolitan city. And when you're underwater, you can see what's going on, the different interactions between different organisms. You've got gardeners gardening the reef, the parrotfish and all the herbivores, um, sea cucumbers cleaning the sand, hunters trying to find food. It's not only the big things, but the little things that you can find amongst the corals, and it's uh, you know, being able to see how the, the fish live amongst the sea fans and stuff, it's sort of like a treasure hunt, you know. If you see a, a hole or a crevice, I mean, everyone wants to look inside and see what's in there cautiously. But yeah, you never know what you might find. You could find a nice lobster or um, some cleaning shrimp or anything. It's, uh, there's still a lot we don't know. and. They're completely foreign animals to us. We have to really try and understand how they live and interact with their ecosystem. Where those ocean currents meet on the reef is where you just get this absolute melting pot of life there. You can be around so many different species that are all interacting. You can just be in and amongst this amazing ecosystem that's full of just so much diversity and abundance. No, I wouldn't swap it for anything else.